farmers scatter dry seeds on the field in a few days the entire field becomes green full of these new seedlings so the process by which the embryo present inside the seed grows into a new plant under favorable environmental condition is known as germination notice the bean germination now look at the corn germination well in case of a bean germination notice the cotyledon this is the cotyledon remains above the ground so such type of germination is known as epigeal germination epi means above and geal comes from the word earth in case of a corn germination see the cotyledon remains below the ground and hence this germination is known as hypogeal germination hypo means below and geal means the earth so this is one difference between bean germination and corn germination in case of bean germination the cotyledon remains above the ground that is epigeal germination and in case of corn germination the cotyledon remains below the ground that is hypogeal germination now notice another thing in case of bean germination the shoot remains below the cotyledon see this is the cotyledon and this is the shoot so the shoot remains below the cotyledon and hence this type of germination is called hypocotyle germination hypo as you know means below and cotyle comes from the word cotyledon now in case of corn germination see this is the cotyledon and this is the shoot so the shoot is above the cotyledon so this type of germination is known as epicotyle germination epi means above and cotyle comes from the word cotyledon so this is the second difference between bean germination and corn germination here the shoot or the stem remains below the cotyledon hence it is hypocotyle germination and in case of corn the stem remains above the cotyledon that is epicotyle germination so bean germination has is epigeal germination and hypocotyle germination don't get confused between the two epigeal which is the cotyledon remains above the ground and hypocotyle means the stem remains below the cotyledon in case of the corn germination it gets reversed see it has hypogeal germination but epicotyle germination hypogeal the cotyledon remains below the ground but the stems grow above the cotyledon so this is for beans and this is for corn